Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here. In this video I'm going to demonstrate and describe a project from OpenNTF called OSGI Tasklet Service for IBM Lotus Domino. It's a project that has been implemented by David Tahib and Paul Fiore from IBM. The project allows you to develop Domino server extensions by using the Java OSGI programming model. You can develop tasklets that are scheduled declaratively or tasklets that administrators can trigger manually. And the model also supports the same triggers or events as known from the Domino C API. Um, in this video, I'm going to have three parts. First, I'm going to describe how to set up dots on your Domino server. In the second part, I'm going to um, describe how to set up the Eclipse IDE so that you can develop your own tasklets and what you need to do in order to prepare um, for debugging. And in the last part, I'm going to show um, the functionality and the samples that come with that project. In order to deploy dots to your Domino server, you need to copy a couple of files in certain subdirectories. Most importantly, you need to copy the minimal OSGI um, runtime or framework onto your Domino server. The documentation that comes with the project um, describes the list of these 10 plugins that you need and you can essentially copy them from every Eclipse installation. So in my case here, um, I installed my um, the Eclipse IDE so that I can develop my own tasklets and this is where I got the um, plugins like this one core content type from. And you need to copy them in a certain subdirectory on your Domino server. First of all, you need to create this or these subdirectories, um, OSGI minus dots, and then you also need to create all these other subdirectories, RCP Eclipse plugins, as well as shared Eclipse plugins. Now, once you have done that, you can copy these 10 plugins, um, the OSGI um, runtime, into the subdirectory RCP Eclipse plugins. So that's the first thing you need to do. And then you need to download those um, dots from OpenNTF and extract that, that zip file. And then you need to copy a couple of other files in certain directories. These two, the first uh, or the last ones here in this list, you need to copy into that same subdirectory that you just created, OSGI dots, these two. Um, then the samples and Java API are only um, necessary for development, so I'm going to show um, later how to import them into the Eclipse IDE. At runtime, however, you also need this plugin, Dots, and that goes here under um, Shared Eclipse Plugins, which is this one right here. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to pick the platform and copy um, the files um, the two DLLs and the executable into your uh, directories, into your um, program directory of your Domino server. Once you have done all of that, there's only one more thing you need to do. Um, in the nodes I and I, you need to set this um, variable so that the um, triggers um, will also work for, that are ne necessary for some of the samples. So once you have done all of this, you can finally launch dots and what you need to do is to simply say load dots and since I've installed also the samples you will see um, a couple of debug and printouts here um, and I'm gonna talk about that later what they actually do. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show for now is how to um, close or shut down dots so you can say um, tell dots close and then the process is um, closed. In the next part I'm going to show how to set up the Eclipse development environment so that you can develop your own tasklets. I created already earlier another video that you can find on YouTube um, and then slash OpenNTF. It's called Setup Eclipse IDE for X Pages Development and that one explains how to set up the Eclipse IDE, uh, where to get it from, where to and how to install the debug plugin, um, where to get the right Java runtime, etc. So at this point I assume that you have already done this 
And what you need to do next is to launch your Eclipse um, development environment um, but launch it with another workspace. So I have two workspaces here. One is for my XPages development and the other one for DOTS development. So this is what I've done here. And now I had to change a couple of things. So you need to go to Preferences. And first of all, you need to define the um, target platform. Um, so you can't use the, um, the predefined one from the SDK. You have to create your own one, which needs to point um, to your um, dots directories. So these two directories is what you need to define here manually. OSGI dots and then RCP Eclipse and Chat Eclipse. Okay, once you have done that, you can say finish. Um, what else? The other thing you need to define here are the um, installed Java runtimes. So I use the um, SDK 5.0 um, runtime again um, that you can download from Developer Works, as I described in the other video. And you need to do one extra thing here. Uh, so let's see. Um, you need to add one external jar file, which is the notes jar in your domino directory. So that's important. And then the last thing you need to set here in your preferences is under compiler settings. Because if you don't do that, um, you will see a lot of compile errors or warnings. And you can um, turn them off by going here under errors warnings, and then deprecated and restricted APIs. And this one here needs to be set to ignore rather than error. Um, and actually one very last thing you need to set here are the pass um, path is for the um, uh, domino directories, the bin and data directory. Okay, so once you have done all of this, you can actually import um, your sources and you need these two different plugins. Um, the first one here, dot samples, contains um, various different samples, really easy to understand. And the other thing you need to import the plugin here is called Notes Java API. And this is really only needed for compile time for your IDE, so you don't have to deploy that um, again. Now, in order to run these samples, there's one more thing I need to do, and that is to point the dots process um, to these plugins. And I can use, again, the debug plugin from OpenNTF. Um, so I go here under OSGI Framework create a new configuration and this time I chose here Domino Tasklet Framework rather than Domino OSGI Framework which is the other profile used for um, XPages development and again I chose um, Auto Start False and here I deselected the target platform and Notes Java API because again this is only used for, um, for compile time and I selected my one and only plugin here with all my samples now when I say debug uh, and hit confirm or OK, um, it tells me that it uh, created this INI file. So let's take a look what's in there. This is in your workspace uh, directory, workspace dots directory. And um, in here is now a link to my Eclipse installation and my workspace dots so that dots can find these plugins. Now after I'll, I've done all of this, I can now go here in my Domino console and say load dots and as previously um, it tells me that it uh, it is starting and it executes directly all the tasks that have been to define to run on startup. Now let's close that for a second. Um, close because what I want to show next is how to actually debug the tasks on dots. So I go back here in my um, development environment and I want to use this task here. It's called list views example. And I set a debug point here. Actually, I've already done this in the run method. And now what I need to do is to launch or to, um, to start dots um, in debug mode. And there's a command that is called a load dots debug address. And this is the port number. And when you do this, you need to make sure you use a different port number than for for other tasks um, running here on your Domino server, like for um, XPages development. So I choose uh, chose 8001, 8001, and now I can launch it, and it tells me it has been launched in debug mode. And now in my um, Eclipse IDE, 
I need to go under debug configurations and from here I create a new remote Java application and again the project name doesn't matter um, these are the only two important settings the local host is my domino server IP address and this is now the port that I used okay so now I can say debug and when I go to my console and trigger to start one of these tasks list view example where is it here it is then my debugger comes up and as usual I can now step through my code right here so I just ran a task that I uh, triggered manually in addition to that you can also have scheduled tasks and triggers in all of these cases you need to define the extensions first in the plugin XML so here at the top we have an example for a scheduled task and the schedule this is the one I just triggered manually and then further down there's another example for triggers now let's go through them real quick um, the first one is called run on start um, so that's very easy there's really only one run method um, and you get a progress monitor arguments and so forth um, then the same interface you have for scheduled tasks right here again run and arguments monitor and the uh, triggers are the most uh, sophisticated example here um, there's a run method and then you get these events passed in um, and then dependent on them you can do whatever you want to do um, as again um, when writing um, C extensions for the Domino server so there's things like NSF um, node update extended and, and, and so forth and open documents save documents all of these things and um, the best way to find out what um, events are supported is to go in the um, in the extracted directory of the um, the dots zip file under sources and then dot source and then uh, com ibm dots event and here's a list of all of these supported events and you can find out more about them by just opening them and um, reading their properties this was just a quick introduction to dots there's more functionality available like um, security and permissions profiles and deployment capabilities if you want to find out more go to OpenNTF, download the project and give it a try thanks a lot for your attention